Hey guys, what's up? Pappy here. Pappy's blog. Um, miserable out here. I had another store. It's a crazy. The little guy went inside with his grandmother. He wanted to get some uh, some uh, stuff to make his uh, Sundays tonight. So him and his cousin are coming over. So they'll get a two or three half gallons of whatever different ice creams, and, uh, hot fudge, cherries, and we have the hot fudge, but uh, we get the whipped cream. But they like making their Sundays after, like around 6.37. You know, you're only a kid once, right? I mean, come on. You know, we do everything for our grandkids, right? S stuff that we didn't have, right? I mean, our parents, that was a rarity, going out to uh, having even pizza. Well, I can remember in the 60s, God... In southeastern Massachusetts, where we live here, there was probably one, two, there was no Domino's, there was King of Pizza, there was Tavano's, there was Faze, I think they're pretty sure, there's Paraffas, and me and Ed's, I'm saying four, four places in the whole city to get a pizza, okay, and there was no delivery, you had to go get it, so you ordered it, you went and got it. So, today, you call it Domino's, they're there in, what, half an hour? So, but it's, um, as far as fast food places, I don't, I don't even remember McDonald's. There was Howdy Be Burgers, um, there was no Burger King, uh, Howdy Be Burgers. Yeah, I don't think McDonald's came to the, uh, and I think the original one, McDonald's, was over here on King's Highway. I'm pretty sure, I, and that probably came maybe 70 or 71, you know, them Fairhaven. Um, yeah, people just didn't have the money back in the 60s to fast food. It was a rarity. I mean, on a Friday night, um, and I don't know if you guys, you know, part of the country, I mean, your parents were poor. I mean, they worked. They live paycheck to paycheck, too, and um, everything was cooked. I can remember on a Friday, if we had a, uh, a no, this wasn't every Friday, but my mother would make uh, charming, and she'd go to Far, we'd go to Far River. My father would go to Far River and get the noodles the China, with the Chinese factory there on the off of Pleasant Street. And they sold the noodles, and they sold the package, so the sauces, we used to add water. And my mother would fry a pan burger. Uh, she'd fry chicken. And we, my father would have a big, big sack of noodles. He probably paid me maybe three dollars. And she had this old Tupperware bowl, big Tupperware bowl. And we knew when she took that down off the off the shelf, we were having charmaine. And she'd get hamburger buns. If we didn't have hamburger buns, and that was at the day old store, the Wonder Bread. It was about 25 cents a, a package. But we didn't have one, uh, we didn't have hot dog buns, uh, we didn't have hamburger buns when we had uh, hot dogs or whatever. It was plain bread. Okay? Um, sunbeam bread. And that was at the thrift store. We never bought a. To go out and buy a, a, a fresh loaf of sunbeam bread, it didn't happen. We went and got them for a dollar. At the thrift store. And that was our, we'd put our charming on that. But most of the time we had, we'd go to the thrift store and we'd get uh, hamburger buns and we made our charming there on uh, between the bun, which, which is real good, you know. But that was a rarity. I mean, my father was the first cook in the uh, Army Air Force, so he was a pretty good cook. So he would, um, he would improvise and he'd make all kind of uh, stuff from scratch and stuff. You know, but like I said, that would the pizza was a rarity. Uh, um, a lot of bologna. You know, my mother would buy the bologna by the uh, by the big uh, rolls there, and also we ate surplus food. The cheese, remember the surplus cheese, and the peanut butter, and the turkey, and the the uh, like the spam and the can that was god awful. Oh my god, you could you could doctor that up as much as you want. I mean. 
it was still 100% pork, but still, it was, oh my God, I can do that. The turkey was all right. My mother would make a cream turkey over potatoes. And the milk, the powdered milk, <laughs> she'd uh, buy a gallon, she'd break it in half. She had two gallon containers and she'd make two gallons of milk out of one. <laughs> oh, we had to improvise, boy, I'll tell you, back in the 60s. Well, I wouldn't trade it for the world, though, because yeah, those were good times. We didn't have computers, we didn't have cell phones. God, I can remember playing baseball. That's how I learned how to play baseball back in the day. It was off a um, off the foundation, and I had a... Um, I don't know if you guys remember. Remember the pinky, pinkies there? And I had my glove that I bought at the Salvation Army for, uh, I think it was a uh, dollar, 50 cents, something like that. It was a Spalding. And, uh, and that's how I learned how to play um, ball. I... I throw it off the foundation, and it, and, and it would come off different angles on the foundation because all the crevices and everything on the foundation. And I'd learn how to do the backhand. I'd learn how to do work from the bottom up. Um, there was no videos and everything. I learned fly balls. I'd throw them off the three deckers off the roof, and I'd camp under them as they were coming down. You know, and then I played sandlot with all my uh, buddies and stuff. We didn't have bases and stuff like that. I, if we, you know, could find some cardboard, that would, was great. But the cardboard used to fly away, so we used to put like a brick on it. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we played pickup games for hours, and and, and then the um, uh, I see these kids. Oh, I gotta have spring. I gotta have Capri Sun. I gotta have Gatorade. Gotta, blah, blah, blah. It was a freaking garden hose. If you were lucky to have a garden hose outside, you drink out of the garden hose. You let it run for a couple seconds, because all the, the water, all the hot water that was that was sitting in the hose, got that out of there. And you, you were lucky if you got cool water out of it. If it was 80, 85, 90 degrees, that's how we lived. You know, we used to have to walk home from school for our lunches. They don't know how. It's, you're kidding me? You know, school days, snow. Oh yeah. Remember the old rubber boots we used to wear, wear with the uh, with the uh, the little metal clamps over it, and we put plastic on, underneath. You know, yeah, these kids don't know. You know, if I'm saying I wouldn't change it because that was real living back then. You know, real living. You know, so I'm just doing a little blog. You know, just reminiscing. You know, about the old days. It's shitty here, I'll tell you. The little guy went in the store with uh, with uh, his grandmother, and it's pouring out over here. And they're um, they're calling for rain all weekend. Matter of fact, my son-in-law has a gig up in uh, Roger Williams Zoo up in Rhode Island there on a hot dog truck. I think they're gonna cancel that. It's the food truck show. Um, I think they're gonna cancel that. So it's not promising. So, but my little grandson wants his little cousin to sleep over, so we'll see what happens. You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully he'll, uh, he will, you know, so they're going to have a little pizza party and stuff like that. They, they look forward to it, you know what I mean? It's little stuff like that, you know? I mean, what the hell, you know? So... All right, guys, I'm just checking in. Just checking in. I, this is my second video of the day. The other video was uh, my little grandson, you know, in the back seat. Matt, we were stopped, so if anybody says anything, we was parked in the parking lot. I know he was in the, he was, uh, in the back seat, and we weren't moving, so he would have been strapped in his chair. So, But we were stopped in the parking lot waiting for my wife, so keys were out of the car and everything. So I, I can hear people saying, oh, he was out of his car seat, you know, a little guy like that, you know, he's only, he's only four and a half. But we were stopped in a parking lot, so. But, um, yeah. All right, guys. I'll let you guys go. I might put up another blog after. I really do appreciate the uh, new subscribers that I got overnight. I'm going to give a shout out to Papa Grizz 56 Goofy Girl. I want to give a shout out to Johnny Blind Nation. Um, shout out to uh, all you.
all you subs that subscribe to me. Let's build up this channel. Like I said, it's real talk with Pappy, and it's just everyday stuff. I like reminiscing a lot of stuff, you know. I try to give a uh, an accurate weather forecast of where we are, southeastern Massachusetts. You know, where it's always crappy. Like I said, we only probably have about maybe nine weeks of summer. Where you have to, like, you know, really enjoy yourself because it just comes fast, you know. And I want to do some videos this summer of... Uh, the outfoot, outdoor facility where my grandson plays, not this guy, my little guy, which is a nice facility. He plays summer basketball. And then from that, he goes right into the um, Dartmouth program, um, which I have the uh, sweatshirt on there. Uh, football. And uh, I like to do a few videos of him playing. They, they go around the... Uh, they play Middletown, they play Portsmouth, they play Fairhaven, New Bedford. Um, they probably, I think they play 10 or 12 games. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe 10. But it's, it's, he likes it, you know. It's, you know, we like it too, you know. So, but, uh, alright guys, I'll let you go. And like I, I'll probably do another video after tonight when they're making their, uh, I'll do a short video of them doing a little pizza party, and it's family love, basically. It's the love we have for our grandchildren and everything, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, you know. And that's what it's all. Uh, it's like Papa Grizz says, "Make memories with your family," really. And that's that's a good that's a good quote, really. I mean, that's a good saying, whatever you want to say it is. I mean, it means a lot. Make memories. Because nothing's forever. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is forever. You can have all the money in the world, but we all have an expiration date stamped on our feet. An invisible expiration date. And the only one that knows what it is is God Almighty. And I'm a firm, firm believer in that. You know? Alright guys, I'll let you guys go. Papa Grips 56, Johnny Blind Nation. I want to give a shout out to all my CM tiers, Shock Hot Marie 2, former muscular dystrophy affects myself and also my family. Shout out to all my cousins down in Kentucky, Texas, Brandon in Texas, Mark, I think Mark's in Texas also, or Indiana, uh, I'm not sure, Donna Carter, Tabitha, um, shout out to Tanya, my second cousin. My tons of cousins in Kentucky. Shout out to all my cousins here in Massachusetts. Jeannie. My sister-in-law Cindy. Sister Sandy. Jilly Bean. Rabbit. My son. My wife's birthday tomorrow. I want to give a shout out to her. Um, my sweetheart. Next month, um, July 12th, will be 37 years we've been married. Uh, Alright guys, I'll let you go. You guys take care and I'll talk to you later. This has been Pappy's Blog with Real Talk. Okay, bye-bye.